Over the past five to 10 years, we've noticed an increase in the landings of OPA to the West Coast. And we know very little about their basic biology, things that we need to know for management. So we started a research program to try to fill those data gaps. We've been working with Catalina Offshore Products to collect biological samples so that we could study their reproductive biology, figure out when and where they're spawning, to study their age and growth, like how old the fish are that are being taken in the fishery, and also to look at their foraging ecology. To look at age and growth, we've been collecting vertebra, otoliths, and fin spines. A lot of the hard parts in fish lay down rings in a predictable manner, so kind of like the rings in a tree, we may be able to estimate ages from those hard parts. We're also collecting stomach samples so that we can look at the stomach contents and figure out what their role is in the food web and what they're foraging on, what's important to them. We're also collecting ovaries so that we can look to see when and where they're mature and at what size they're mature. And the fin clips allow us to do genetic analysis. They provide DNA. The reason that this is important is we've recently discovered that there are actually two species in the eastern North Pacific of Opa, and we need the data to be species specific. And also there may be structure within each species that we would want to look at. All this information and these samples will help us to fill really important data gaps for management and conservation so that we can ensure that we have sustainable fisheries. This feeds into the project that we're doing with Catalina Offshore Products with fishermen and with chefs to try to increase the utilization of OPA and minimize waste. We want to make sure that any fisheries are sustainable so that we have OPA on our plates for decades to come.